giving you a bit of the breakdown on the walls. But we started out with, this is all mostly secondhand materials or byproducts of other stuff, by the way. So we'll kind of keep you posted and show you some photos and some links in the descriptions and everything of where we've been sourcing our materials. But this is all aluminum that's been recycled through a company that we're in with. Some of it wasn't long enough, so we've spliced it. There's a sleeve that's inside here that we gap to the right size for everything. I have a jigging table inside. We straightened it on, and it's all been rosette welded on either side. So we built aluminum structure frames around the walls with 45 gussets. We wanted to be able to weld the entire skeleton together and have doublers of aluminum on all load bearing points since this is a vehicle and we want it to be really have a lot of sheer strength and really sturdy and we were kind of nervous that if we all nailed it together over time it would back out it was moving so once we had all our aluminum frames matching to the exact lengths of the deck walls we sourced out some rough sawn true 2x2 lumber these are all the mist mills from big milling packs like house packages that they get so anything that was a reject and we sourced all the stuff out of it. it would work great since we don't need a huge amount of material. So when we framed everything in, we did it on a standard housing 16 inch layout with two by twos. That's what your Sharpie marks are here. This is a window opening. So we wanted the extra strengths. So we framed it the same as a standard house. We just used the aluminum as our top and base plate. So this is on a 16 inch layout. It's tripled up here because we wanted this as our doubler for our header to hold the backside in. This is your postal point that goes down to hold your header. We were able to get away with a two by four header for this window, which I think is about a 4-0 opening because we have this aluminum box tube on top and because our roof structure really isn't that heavy. It's only a four foot span off center since we're doing a truss system. So once we had all that, we put in our bottom plate for the window and we framed the bottom in on a 16 inch layout. Everything's been pre-drilled and countersunk to keep it flush and screwed together with three inch deck screws and impacts. It was not rocket science. We had actually only ever TIG welded aluminum before we started this, which was way too slow going. We bought a spool gun set up and were able to get all these wall frames done within like a week and a half. And we framed all the wood within a week. We're about to be building another wall here in a bit. We'll document that one a bit better and show you step by step exactly how we're doing it. And then we'll keep you posted as we do the whole rest of the wood structure as well. So stay tuned for more.